In this video, I'm going to show you three ways on how you can make money even if you have a full-time job. Now, there are so many different YouTube videos on side hustles and how you can make, you know, a kajillion dollars a month only working five minutes a day. And sometimes those things are straight out lies. And sometimes those things are also very unrealistic, even if they are true. So in this video, I want to give you three ways on how you can make a side income, especially and even if you have a full time job, because like in this day and age, people are doing multiple things. And, and if you're only doing one thing and it's not really giving you the income that you want to be more than likely, you'll never, ever get to where you want to be. And so the, the first thing that I want to share with you in terms of what you can do on the side to make um, a significant amount of money um, is coaching. Now, hear me out before you just click off or put limiting beliefs in terms of what's possible. There are so many people that actually have a six figure coaching business working less than 20 hours a week. Now, some of those people, they, they, they do other things. And for other people, this is all that they do. And for some, it's like because of the time commitment, all they have to do, you know, in terms of like, you know, having having a, a part time coaching business, making that kind of money is just do it on weekends or either do it in the in the afternoons or evenings once they get off work. And, and how, how, how does this work and how can this work and how is this even um, like realistic? The first thing to consider is, you know, you have a lot of people that talk about like high ticket items and things like that. And the thing is, um, even though I talk about high ticket, really, I think that we shouldn't even use that phrase at all because it's all about charging the value that's proportionate to what you're giving. And so when you're doing any kind of coaching, especially if it's for a, a certain duration of time, let's say like three months or six months or something like that, um, the amount of money that I would recommend you charge would, would be considered high ticket. So you don't even really have to put that disclaimer on it. So how, how can this actually work in real life? Let's say that you are doing um, fitness coaching, if you will. And I'm not saying like exercise and things like that, but let's say you know, you're, you're showing people like for their specific body type, you know, things to eat, um, you know, uh, exercise regimens, uh, you know, like, like whatever, whatever area you want to put there. Cause it is just, you know, a fictitious, you know, made up uh, scenario, if you will. Um, but you can, you can charge somebody, let's say if you're working with them for, uh, three to three to six months, you can charge that person $5,000. And, and that is not a large sum of money, you know, in the grand scheme, especially when you think about the actual result that you're getting them. So, how, how would this play out in real life? It's like you can actually coach them specifically on weekends if you want to have it that way where, hey, Saturday and Sunday is specifically dedicated to coaching. You could do it that way. Or, hey, if you get off work at five, you know, you can start your coaching at 630. And by that time, you know, give you some time to unwind, you know, look at the, the, the profile of, you know, your, your client um, and just take an hour. And, and let's say, you know, Monday through Friday, you're like, you know what? I'm only going to coach for three days. So let's say on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you have a coaching client and that coaching client is paying you $5,000 to work with them for six months. So when you think about the math, that's, you know, you got three clients that you're working with a month. Because again, let's, let's say you don't want to burn out, but you just want to do something to get you a little bit more cash. So you, you, got, you got three different people that are paying you $5,000 for six months, if you will. So obviously that's $15,000. And that's for an hour of your time for three days. Now, and you're probably thinking like, okay, that sounds great, but how do I go out and acquire these customers? Well, there's a ton of ways where you can actually find different people to work with. And, and I'll say one of the best markets are people that you already know. Because Based on what you want to coach somebody on, I promise you there is somebody in your network who actually desires, needs, and wants what it is that you can offer. And sometimes we don't know what people need because number one, we don't ask, but also people don't really know what we want to do because sometimes we hide what we want to do because we don't think or we don't know what's possible. And so like, it's, it's very simple to go to your own network, you know, friends and family and tell them like, hey, I'm doing this. You know, I'm going to be coaching people on the side, you know, for this amount of time. You, you know, if you know anybody, let me know. Um, and, and there's ways you can incentivize people as well. But I don't want to go like too far out because that's not the scope of this, you know, this video. But coaching people is one of the simplest ways where you can make money on the side. You can get fulfillment. And it's a phenomenal way if you're considering transitioning or firing your job. 
coaching is a is a phenomenal way to do it. And I know tons of people that started their coaching businesses on the side so much so that when their coaching business exceeded like their you know their job, then that's when they fired their job. And, and it's and it's a a very low stress way, low cost way, a very low risk way for you to transition to that other side. So so coaching is a phenomenal thing that people can do, especially when they already have. Um, another job. Now, another thing that's really, really popular, and if you haven't heard about it, you're going to hear tons about it, you know, um, coming up. But affiliate marketing, you know, uh, affiliate marketing for transparency. Um, I've done affiliate marketing for man at least at least about 15 years now, and there was a time where I was over six figures in, in debt, and affiliate marketing was was you know I won't say the main thing, but it was a main thing that I was doing that really helped me to get out of all of that debt, and. The thing about affiliate marketing that's really, really critical and, and it's important for you to understand is that if you can, you either want to do two things. You want to um, find like items that are, and, and again, let me back up for a minute. So if you're not familiar with what affiliate marketing is, it's you selling somebody else's product and them paying you to sell it. Now they service it, customer service, all that kind of stuff. You just sell it. And, and a way you could do that, like offering it to you know, friends and family or people on your social media um, circle. But affiliate marketing is one of those things that's um, like it's, it's incredible because, again, you could sell somebody else's product. You don't have to worry about, you know, the customer service, the, the chargebacks or, you know, people saying it didn't work to complaining. Like you don't have to deal with any of that stuff. And you're still getting a portion, if not the bulk of the profits. And, and it's a it's a phenomenal way to do that. And so. Two things that I would encourage you to consider when it comes to affiliate marketing is A, find products and services that either have a high payout or they have a reoccurring payment. You know, what do I mean by that? So if you if you can find programs that um, like they're selling their program for like two thousand dollars and they're giving 50 percent commission. So that means that if you sold five of those programs per month. That's five thousand dollars that you get to pocket, and somebody else has to deliver on servicing whatever it is that was sold. That, that's like that's a great deal. Or if you can um, find something that's reoccurring. So so again, let's say you offer somebody like a like an email service or something like that, and you get. And I'm not saying this is going to happen overnight, but let's say over time, over time, let's say six months, you get a hundred people to sign up for you know this email service, and let's say that email service. You know, it's uh, forty nine dollars a month, and they're giving you, you know, uh, I don't know. Let, let's even say fifty percent commission. You know, and let's say you're getting a little less than twenty four dollars a month. You get a hundred people over the course of six months to sign up. That's almost twenty four hundred dollars that you're getting every single month that these people are paying just from you recommending something. It is not your software. You don't have to service people. You know, you don't have to answer customer service questions. Nothing, and you're getting reoccurring income month after month after month that these people are on. And typically when people sign up for email service and they like it, they're getting results and they got a, a lot of people that they're building on their list, they never leave. And here's a great thing about that specific example. And that's just an example. I'm not even recommending that, but that's just an example. But what happens is this. Typically when people are building their email list, their email list gets bigger. So what does that mean? That means that that $49 a month now goes to $97 a month. And what you were getting, you know, half of 49, now you're getting half of 97. And the thing is this, the more success that they have, the more that number continues to go up and up and up. And so what that means is this, you could commit to getting 100 people that you recommend the service to, and you don't do anything else. And your income can just grow by way of you just recommending this to a hundred people, and the thing is this: that can go from you know twenty four hundred to you know uh, five thousand a month to to ten thousand. You know, and I'm not saying that's going to happen like immediately, even even six months. Maybe it happens over a year and a half. But you think about this: is it worth putting in that time to get a reoccurring income to the amount that could replace any current income that you have? I would I would you know venture to say yes. Now I want to get to. Um, the third, you know, and final, just for the sake of, of this video, um, ways that people can make money and still, you know, not impact their current, you know, financial situation, whether it's their job or, or even if they have another business, because some people have a business and that current business is just not making enough money. But I want to share with you one last thing. And this is something that I am extremely excited about because this is something that I've actually done um, 
to, to date um, about 11 years ago when, when I started doing this. And this is something that has afforded me the ability to actually acquire part of a business, like part ownership in a business without giving any money out of my pocket whatsoever. And what is it? What it is, is email. And here's what I mean when I say that. So there are a lot of people that have like phenomenal programs, whether it's high ticket, low ticket, uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, and they're building their email list. And so a lot of these people, they don't, number one, have the time, nor do they have the skill set, nor do they even have the awareness that a lot of times the money is in the follow up. And so whenever, whenever somebody is making uh, some kind of offer, most people don't, don't buy on that initial offer. Like they have to be offered something several times. And I don't know what the number is now, but you know, some years ago, it was like people had to see something at least seven to 11 times before they would make a purchase. And I don't know what that number is now, but people need to be followed up with a lot more than they had to be followed up with, you know, years ago, simply because their attention, like their attention span is just not what it used to be. And so when it comes to email, there are so many people that have like phenomenal programs and they're losing so many customers because they're just not following up with them or they're not keeping them engaged. And you might be wondering, well, what does that have to do with me? Well, what that have to do with you is you can actually offer email as a service to specific people where you volunteer to write their emails. And there's so many different sequences, just an email that somebody could, you know, email, like, like write emails on somebody's behalf, you know, whether it's, you know, consumption sequence, whether it's card abandonment sequence, you know, um, like, like there's so many different sequences that somebody could write emails for somebody else and make a full time income just writing emails from somebody else. And you could even structure it in a way where you charge per email. Let's say you're charging $100 per email. You send four hour, four, four emails, you know, for this person, that's $1,600 a month. If you know, if you write, you know, for like every week. And the thing is this, that email, when once you get really good, it might take you 20 minutes to write. So you you write, you know, a week's worth of emails in an hour and 20 minutes. You know, you think about it. You can write a month's worth of emails in roughly like five hours. So 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 think about this. For five five hours of your time where you, you might be able to carve out a, a Saturday or a Sunday or something like that, you could write all the emails for the month in a duration of time and you get paid, you know, sixteen hundred dollars. That's awesome. And 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 what I'm saying is this, like that's on the low end. Or you could even get to the point, and I'm not saying this will happen just like overnight, but just kind of like I did, where you might even be able to acquire a, a small percentage of a business just from like being responsible for handling like the email portion. But but there's so much opportunity and, and there's so many different ways you can go with it. But the long story short, like writing emails for different people is it's like a hidden secret right now. And, and the thing is, is, it's been hidden for a long time. Like it's and I'm surprised that not more people know about it because it's a very simple and I don't want to say easy because you have to acquire the skill, but it's a very simple way to make money with just exchanging a little bit of your time, especially when you learn the skill set. But this is something that a lot of people truly need. Um, and it's something that's going to be around, you know, for years. And I know people thinking about like, like chat GPT and AI and things like that. And this is one of those things where you would actually do better just writing emails yourself, especially when you really understand how to do it. Because the thing I think about is this. If, if everybody's using the same tool, eventually everybody's going to sound the exact same. And if everybody sounds the same, why should anybody listen to anybody? And so your thoughts, you know, your stories or their stories or their thoughts, you know, whoever you might be writing for is the thing that keeps it unique. And it's like when you can approach somebody and offer this to them as a service, like sky is truly the limit in terms of how much money you can make. Because maybe you do or maybe you don't know this, but even when it comes to copywriting, copywriting itself is one of the highest paid careers in the world. And they write. And email is within that family. So the thing that I want to just leave you with is, you know, just considering just different ways that you could make um, essentially a full time income, just working less than part time, if you will. And it could it could truly afford you a life of, of freedom and doing the things that you really want to do. Um, and the thing that I would say is this. You are actually in luck because I'm, I'm actually um, hosting a, a live training showing you step by step how to make three to five thousand dollars every single month just writing emails. 
and, and all you have to do is just go to email your income.com email your income.com and I will say this if you enjoy this video so far you are going to love the video that is next so I encourage you to stick around and watch it and also if you gotten value from this video I encourage you to hit that like button and subscribe so you'll be notified when all the next videos that come up